Welcome to a Mount Incredible Interstellar Amusement Park, where you can enjoy five planets for the price of one. He loves to hear his own lips flap, but I gotta hand it to the Eggster. This place is epic. Everyone and their brother is gonna wanna come here. No doubt, but now I'm not sure why we're here. This place looks totally harmless. Because Eggman plus secretly built amusement park equals evil plot for us to foil. Lucky for us, he's not very good at keeping things hidden. True, it would be pretty hard to miss a giant floating space amusement park surrounded by planets. Still, an evil plot? I don't know. Whoa. Wow! Plot or not, you can't be mad at this view. This place has taken beauty to the next level. I'm just surprised that it was so easy to sneak in here. Uh, I wouldn't say it was that easy. Hello, happy people. Buckle up as Eggman's ultra-accelerating space elevator whisks you to an interplanetary wonderland of fun. I can't believe somebody was dumb enough to leave the keys in this thing. It's like Eggman's begging us to sneak in and trash the place. Oh, man, this thing's got crazy fast acceleration. <laughs> you call this fast? This amusement park has been constructed entirely out of a sense of remorse for my past transgressions and is in no way associated with any sort of evil plot or premeditated misdeeds. Well, that's a relief. Uh, just thinking about it makes my head feel like it wants to... Your voice chip is stuck on Cowboy again. Stop talking and let those aliens. You got it, partner. Come on, here, you little farmers. Come back here. I'm gonna get you. Hey, come here. I'm gonna show you. I got you. I got you. I'm not sure what's going on, but I'm sure of what I'm gonna do. to the maximizing modulationizer. <laughs> I wish I knew what you were saying, little guy, or gal, or whatever you are. Oh, man, that was crazy! Oh, I was reconfiguring my handheld into a translator so I can understand this guy. Did you go somewhere? Didn't you see? I absorbed those aliens and got powered up with, like, some kind of wild energy. And after a few seconds, they'd pop out of me. Uh, I find that hard to believe. Huh? Okay, seriously? We need to find Eggman and figure out how catching these aliens fits into whatever heinous plan he's hatching. And wreck that plan, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how we spend our time. enough aliens want us to get more no I want you to get me a cheeseburger and a shake that'll be easier cheeseburgers don't run as fast as them little alien varmints idiot get me more aliens y'all want fries with that no. I reckon that hurt a bit wait a minute I need to go over yonder sorry Hmm, precious little aliens! 
I'll harness their hyper go on power, and then nothing will stop me. I know I say that every time, but this time, really, nothing will stop me. <laughs> Most? What? Sonic! Who are you calling nothing? Huh? He means since the boss said nothing will stop me, and Sonic here is going to stop him, it's like the boss was calling Sonic nothing. Great! I thought nobody would get that. Fine. You're so smart, robot. You take care of this mess. Release the big boy! At least I know he won't screw it up. Hasta la bye-bye, suckers! <laughs> It's time for me to start stopping. Oh. I get it. Which one is the platform to get? Shopping, grabbed a bite to eat, and trashed a giant killer robot. Oh, really? And they've got shopping here, too? This place has everything. Hey, so how's your translator thingy coming along? Uh, I think it's done. It's in binary code, so only I can read it. Okay, ask away. <clears throat> Who are you, and what is happening to your people? Okay, he says his name is Toxalot, and he's from a faraway soda, and where flowers water them with dances. Yeah, uh, I think your machine still has some bugs. Yeah, I think I can figure this out, though. Okay, he said his name is Yakker. He's from a race of beings called Wisps. Wisps? No, Wisps, with a W. Yeah, I'll just stick with aliens, if that's okay with everybody. Oh, sure. So anyway, they're either being used for their magical powers by an evil man, or to make underwear to be worn by Sally. Oh. Just here, save them. Save them over and over. When I was running around trashing robots, I saw a map that had a couple of interesting places. I think I'll go check them out and maybe save some aliens. The mouse man said to wrangle every piece of this mess. When you consider what we're doing from a robot's point of view, it's actually pretty impressive. Don't think about it. If you say so. I'm missing an arm. Have you got an arm? No, but really, how much can it matter? I guess it can't matter much. an alien in need of saving, where would I be? Experience has taught me to investigate anything that glows. Huh? Experience 
has also taught me that the best way to solve problems is to kick robot butt. Uh, excuse me, giant killer robot. You want to do this the hard way or the easy way? Somehow I knew you'd say that. Let's dance. or limericks or whatever it is he's spouting? Well, first, remember, this translation stuff isn't 100%. Trust me, I remember. So anyway, these aliens are made up of a really powerful energy source called hypergoons. It's inside of them. Like a battery? No. Well, sort of. It's their life source. And you only got a taste of it. Look at what happened. Battery is sort of an understatement. A funny thing, it was first translating as horrible body odor. <sighs> anyway, it seems an evil man, and you might know him, who they call Baldy Nose Hair. <laughs> Baldy Nose Hair? That's the best thing I've heard all day. I gotta remember that one. <laughs> I know, I've already written it down. Anyway, he's draining them of their power all their power and using it for an evil aquatic mammal an evil dolphin no a porpoise oh an evil purpose that's good intel keep working on it hey where are you going to find baldy mcnose hair of course <laughs> i'm totally calling him mcnose hair
park is huge. Yeah, Eggman could be anywhere. <laughs> Indeed I could, but I'm right here behind this generator. That's it, Hedgehog. Stand there and be a nice little target. Tails, is that you humming? Nothing at all! Unless shooting him with my mind control beam that runs on alien energy counts is doing something to him, does it? <laughs> to get to me, you're going to have to go through your best friend! <laughs> this turned out much better than I could have hoped, and I only used a small prototype! Enjoy it while you can! Oh, I will! In fact, the only way to make this better would be to have you two fight! Come on, Tails! Snap out of it, dude! You don't want to do this! What the? Tails, buddy! Are you alright? Huh? Where am I? Why is my nose hair tingling? Lousy, cheap alien energy! Huh? Ran out of juice! Well, I'll get more! Lots more! And then I won't just control one little punk, but the whole universe! In the meantime, enjoy the park. I'll leave you your own private tour guide. Ha! <laughs> Pay up, Tails! I told you he had an evil plot, and coming here was a good idea. There it is, straight from the horse's mouth. Uh, we didn't bet. Dang! Then start wailing away! Just keep an eye on those machine guns.
Did you give the guide your complaint? Oh, I gave it to him pretty good. What's up, Yacker? <laughs> so did you get any more info out of him? Well, it wasn't easy, but yeah. Well, we know Eggman is going to use the energy he's stealing for a mind control weapon. Learn that one the hard way. Do we know how Eggman is getting all these aliens? Yeah, yeah. At first, I thought that Yacker was talking about how Baldy Nose Hair was using burps to do it. Hmm, he is pretty gassy. Maybe the smell would knock him out? I don't know, something doesn't seem right with that. That's what I said. It made no sense. Then I made a tiny adjustment and realized he was saying generators. So, no burps. Well, that's a relief. Tell me about it. So basically, Eggman is using five tractor beam generators to hold their planet in orbit while he scoops the aliens all up. Hold a whole planet? Well, it's tiny, but still, yeah. Okay, fine. Five generators? Well, I've already leveled two. So, if my math is correct, that leaves us three more of those bad boys to take out. Nobody said there'd be math, but I'm with you, buddy. We should get moving. Yakker says the aliens don't have much time. Once I start moving, I don't need much time. <laughs> The mind control weapon will be full of energy I've siphoned from the aliens, and Sonic's world will be the center of my interplanetary theme park. Y'all reckon you'll be able to get yourself enough of that energy to take over the whole dang planet? Yes, I reckon I will. Where is your new voice chip? Got it right here, sir. Just need to install it. The thick bones connected to the... Talk bone. The top bone's connected to the mouth bone. There. Good as new. Finally. I don't think anything could have been more annoying than that cowboy chatter. <laughs> Feeling ship shape with me new voice chip I am. I'm begging your pardon, Squire. But me and my mate are gonna sail off and search for that lover Sonic. Arr! Yeah. I think that's the wrong chip. Really? Are you sure he doesn't normally speak in pirate? On the right side, he's much more exotic now. Just go find him and fix that chip! <laughs> Shortly, I will have no need for those idiots. In just a few hours, Sonic's world will be under my control. When it is, it will be the crown jewel of my amusement park. The greatest amusement park in the universe! <laughs> I think I gloated so hard I pulled a muscle. place is. There's something very Eggman-ish about it. I think he's transforming it somehow, making it part of his theme park. Attention guests, if you can hear this message, you are trespassing in an area still under renovation. If you are not a robot, please return to the main park areas and ignore anything evil you might have seen here. Thank you. It looks like the theme of his park is universal domination and the conquest of alien races. It's more than a theme, it's a reality. He's using them like some kind of living intergalactic gasoline. That's pretty low, even for a sleazeball like Eggman. Some displacement of indigenous aliens and destruction of natural resources may occur. Eggman Enterprise is not responsible. <laughs> Are you getting any of that? Yeah, they're totally freaked out. It sounds like they're in shock because of public transportation and a loony nurse. Oh, no, wait, scratch that. They're in shock because of their planet's strange transformation and having been dragged across the universe. 
Well, I still can't believe he kidnapped the whole planet. How does somebody do that? They're saying it was either ice cream or a tractor beam. Yeah, well, I'm going to guess it wasn't ice cream shooting out of those generators. <laughs> if it was, I would get one for back home. Dude, I'd get two. Now, if everyone will excuse me, I'm going to put a stop to these renovations. There's the generator. It seems like these guys are getting harder and harder to find. I know for a fact these guys are getting harder and harder to beat. Please remember, all planets in Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park are, as far as you know, wholly owned properties of Eggman Enterprises and its subsidiaries. All unauthorized photography, video reproduction, or shutting down of generators is strictly prohibited. Thank you! Eggman! I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens! No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me! We can save a lot of time and broken robots if you just quit now! Try to be reasonable. It's weak for the use myself. For a second there, I wasn't sure I was going to pull it off. Well, who am I kidding? We both knew how this would end. Uh, <laughs> are you talking to the broken robot who can't hear you? Uh, maybe. That's between me and the robot. See, the important thing here is the alien planet is free. Absolutely. So, we can just forget about the whole talking to dead robots thing, right? Nope. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> oh, come on. I've seen you save the day a lot of times, but I've never seen you talk to a pile of metal. Touché.
Running past all those fish put me in the mood for sushi. I doubt Eggman had the decency to put a good sushi joint in this park. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, try the newest dining experience here at Eggman's incredible interstellar amusement park, the Bucket of Sushi. Now with fish. Ugh, like I was saying. Hey, did somebody here order a clobbering? Are you sure? It says somebody ordered an extra-large clobbering topped with everything. Hmm, okay. Tell you what, I can't take this thing back, so I'll give you an extra-large clobbering for nothing. Hope you're hungry. I grabbed a bite at the bucket of sushi. What's the verdict? His cruelty knows no bounds.
is this place? Whoa. This is where he converts them into the strange, negative aliens with the freaky energy. Oh, there you are. I thought I lost you for a second. Did you find anything interesting? Look at all of them. He's captured thousands of aliens. Don't worry. We'll get them out. Sonic, I haven't seen Yakker for a while. You'll have to excuse me, buddy. I have a generator to shut down. in there. It's messed up. So I'm gonna mess you up. Yeah, that's right. I'm stretching. You got a problem with that? I want to be able to fully enjoy taking you apart without some pulled muscle slowing me down. Okay, now I'm ready. Of course, if you want to run away, please feel free. There's no shame in it. Well, maybe a little shame. You guys don't talk much, do you? Fair enough. Don't say I didn't warn you.
have done it without you, buddy. Thanks. Hey, we both deserve some kind of reward. Yeah, let's go to an amusement park or something. All right, but uh, one that's, you know, less evil than this one. <laughs> <laughs> so, are all the aliens getting free? Looks like it. Once the power went off, the locks vanished. I hope Yakker's okay. I think you'll be fine. You don't think the weapon you were shot with still works? Not without power flowing to it. I think we're all good. That's what I like to hear. fighting off any insane robots. True. Well, good job to you on inventing a translator that allowed us to speak to the aliens and figure out exactly what we needed to do so we weren't running around the park looking like idiots. <laughs> oh no, wait, that was me. Hmm. Good point. Either way, we can get out of this crazy place and go home. <laughs> Looks like the aliens are happy to be going home too. Uh, I think we're in the middle of a party. The middle? We are the party. I think we're their guests of honor. Totally. Ho, ho, ho! That fool Sonic thinks he's won because he destroyed all my generators. Well, the mind control cannon is full enough for what it has to do. I will have the last laugh! The last laugh? How is laughing last special? Isn't that like being the slowest one to get the joke? Yeah! I laugh last all the time! People look at me like I'm an idiot! Forget about it! That's because you are an idiot! Eh... Uh, hmm... <clears throat> you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you! There's nobody else here, so I must be talking to you! Why haven't we fixed your voice chip yet? Yo, quit busting my batteries over here! I've been working on it all day! What does that even mean? Oh, never mind. In a few seconds, it won't matter anyway, since the world will have only one thing on its mind. What's that, boss? <laughs> Me. Changed his voice chip. 
that no matter, I may have suffered a setback, but this thing's far from over. I will crush Sonic! and rubble tumbling and aliens running for their lives? Yeah, I get a bad feeling. So, how about you and me make like Eggman's hairline and recede? Uh, this isn't joke time. This is running to the space elevator time. Sorry, couldn't help myself. We're out of here. Yeah, we're running now.
turned out the lights. At Eggman's incredible Aegis Sailor Amusement Park, you can feel comfortable knowing your safety is our number one. Oh, shut up! You thought I wouldn't? The only thing I was thinking about was getting pushed into an elevator. Well, a hedgehog's gotta do what a hedgehog's gotta do. Great job, Sonic. Thanks, but I had a little help during that last part. Saving us. Uh, he says you are welcome. That thing's translating pretty good. Yep, I finally got all the kinks out. We can talk to them perfectly now. Oh, great. He says goodbye, my friends. I have to go. Just when I got this thing working. Better late than never, buddy. Right on. Silence of space right about now. Sushi, hey, I heard they started using fish. Barbara, we didn't bring any with us. Not that we can eat it since we're robots, but we could have looked at it. I love looking at stuff. I love stuff. The fire was it was great. Hey, how did we get all this stuff to blow up like that anyway? Loved it. By the way, can you trace me to that dog? Sorry, dog. We're having a stress on the guy. Where are we going? Look at that star. Oh, my God. 